Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are doing good. Uh, so today we are going through Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint Mathematics Paper 1. This is latest paper from October 2022 series. Um, so here are the instructions. You all know that. But you can take screenshot and go through that later on. As this is paper 1, so we are not allowed calculator in this. So we will start without using calculator so before we start i request you guys to subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel and you are not subscribed please do so and those who have already subscribed thank you so much guys for your support so let's get started question one anesthesia collects information to investigate this statement older teachers pay more for their car than younger teacher so she want to investigate this statement so what information she is collecting take the two items that are most relevant to her investigation first of all let's uh, read this statement again and underline the keywords what is she comparing she is comparing the age right older teacher and younger teacher so that means she is comparing age then pays more than for their cars so pays more means uh, she is talking about the amount paid. Mm, so, what is the most relevant in this information given? If the teacher is male or female, it doesn't matter because she is not comparing uh, the gender. The age of the teacher, that will be the correct one. The subject of the teacher, we don't need that one here for. The price the teacher paid for the car. So, this is going to be the next one. Okay, now part uh, question two. Mm, Oliver throws a ball at basketball hoop twenty times. He scores basket. He scores a basket seven times. He misses his, the basket thirteen times. Use this information to estimate the probability of Oliver scoring a basket. Scoring a basket is this one. He scores seven. Seven out of total was twenty. So, probability is going to be 7 over 20, right? Now, number 3, when Eva works for H hours, she earns 20 H dollars. Work out how much she earns when she works for 10 hours. So, now H here is 10 hours, right? Uh, so, if she works for H hours, she uh, earns 25. So, for 10 hours, she is going to earn 20 times 10 that is 250 dollars okay now number four uh, Yusuf has two liters bottle of water uh, he pours the water into 500 ml glasses so he has a big bottle and he is filling uh, small glasses out of that right the question is how many glasses Yusuf could fill completely uh, so amount of water that is available amount of water is 2 liters that means 2 times 1000 that is 2000 milliliters so uh, glass amount of water in glass amount of water in glass is 50 ml so that means one glass holds 50 ml so number of glasses that can be filled by 200 ml of water number of glasses is going to be 2000 divided by 50 this 5 0 and 0 is cancelled so 5 times 4 is 20 then there is a 0 so 40 glasses can be filled um, by 200 2000 ml of water that is 2 liters of water water <clears throat> now number five uh, here are the cost of buying theater tickets from a booking agency adult ticket cost 65 each child ticket cost 45 each dollar 45 each hassan buys two uh, adult tickets and two child tickets two adult tickets and two child tickets the booking agency charges extra five percent of the total cost as a booking fee uh, so how much Hassan pays all together so first of all let's see the um, ticket prices he buys 
two adult tickets. So one adult ticket is sixty-five times two, and this times two. So two times sixty-five plus two times forty-five. So this is uh, five times two ten. Six times two twelve plus one three, and this is ninety. One thirty plus ninety two hundred and twenty. So he pays two hundred and twenty dollars for the tickets. Now there is a booking fee. Booking fee is booking fee is five percent of the total cost. So five percent of total cost is two hundred and twenty. So five over hundred times two hundred. This zero and zero is gone. Two hundred and twenty. Sorry. Uh, so five times two ten, this is eleven. So total booking fee is dollar eleven, right? So how much he pays together? Hassan pays. Hassan pays. All together is two hundred and twenty dollars plus dollar eleven. Two hundred and thirty-one. So in total he is paying. Two hundred and thirty-one dollars. So you can see again how we worked it out. Number six, work out six one over four divided by one two over three. Give your answer as a mixed number and in its simplest form. So six times how you are going to do this six times four plus one six times four plus one, uh, which is twenty four plus one is twenty five. Denominator remains as it is. Divided by same three times one is three plus two is five over three. Right, twenty five over four. Now we are going to change this to multiply division sign multiply and then we will take reciprocal of this three over five. So five times five. We cancel. Uh, simplify five times three. In the numerator we have fifteen. In the denominator we have one here. Four times one is four. So as a mixed number, fifteen divided by four. Four times three is twelve. So remainder, uh, sorry, denominator remains denominator. Remainder goes up. Three three over four is the final answer. Right. Now question number seven. Here is a net of a cuboid. We have a net of the cuboid. Work out the surface area of the cuboid. So now we have length. You see here is five centimeters, and width is three centimeters, and height is also three centimeters. So surface area of the cuboid is we have the formula two length times width, width times height plus height times length. Right. So two length times width is five times three, plus then three times three, then five times three, three times three, then five times three. Okay. So now this is fifteen plus nine plus fifteen. So that is equal to two times fifteen plus fifteen thirty plus nine thirty nine. <coughs> Two times nine is eighteen, seventy-eight. So this is seventy-eight centimeter squares. Now question eight. Uh, line A B is shown on the grid. You can see this line over here. Plot point zero negative three on the grid. Zero is here. This is x and this is y. X zero and y negative three. So this point is here. Right now, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. So this is A, B. We got this point as C, and D should be somewhere here. Uh, work out the coordinates of D. So where it can be? So we can use ruler to see that one. Actually, here it is. You see, this one is uh, approximately three point eight. So if you take three point eight from here, is going somewhere here. So we should have a proper coordinate there. <coughs> we we'll use ruler. Let's join this one. 
so you see this one is uh, 2 centimeters from here 2 centimeters coming somewhere here if I take this as a point so and uh, this length is 4 centimeters and this is 4 here so that's correct so this should be our point so let's see does it look like a rectangle if we join yes this is a rectangle uh, so this is point D so coordinates of D is going this way x is 6 and y is negative 1 6 and negative 1 right now number 9 complete the multiplication grid we have here number 6 8 and 9 his side we have 4 and there is a multiplication so that means we are multiplying you can check here like this is 4 times 8 is 32 4 times 6 is 24 then 4 times 9 is 36 so 7 times 6 42 7 times 8 is 56 7 times 9 is 63 it's just multiplication you should know the table then you can easily complete it I write these measurements in order from smallest to largest so you can see we have here uh, different lengths given this is in kilometer meter and kilometer either you can convert meter to kilometer or kilometer to meter I will prefer to um, uh, convert into mil, uh, meters so as you know one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters right so to convert from kilometer to meter we are going to multiply here by 1000 right so this is 13,000 then there are two decimal places so we have 130 meters this is 30 meter 200 meter and this is 127 three zeros there three decimal places so 127 meters now let's see which one is the smallest smallest is here uh, 30 right so the original of this one is 30 meters right and after 30 is 127 at number 2 so this is 0 0.127 kilometer uh, number 3 is here 130 which is 0 0.13 kilometers and the lastly we have here 200 meters make sure that your answer should be in the uh, original information whatever was given to you okay now number 11 uh, babies born at hospital are described as having low or medium or high mass at birth the table shows some information about 200 babies born at hospital last month so here is the information male female then total low mass medium mass high mass then total uh, so first fill the missing values so first of all we will start with here only because <coughs> one uh, box is uh, empty here so 18 plus 42 uh, 46 8 plus 6 14 5 6 64 so then 90 minus 64 uh, this will be 8, 8 minus 6, 26. So this is 26, right? Uh, we have this side, the total. Uh, 8 plus 2, 18 plus 28, uh, 22, 8 plus 2, 10, 2 plus 3, this is 40, right? So now we can go this way. So we have is 146. 106 plus 40, 146. We will subtract this from 140, uh, 200. Uh, here we have 4, mm, 10, this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 10 and this became here 9, 10 minus 6, 4, 9 minus 54, so we have 54 here, okay, now we can go this way, so this is makes 200, 90 plus what gives you 200, so we can subtract 200 minus 90, 110 over here and this 26 and this side we have 54 minus 26 28 right now this way or this way whatever you feel 106 minus 46 so 106 minus 46 60 
yeah so that's it that's how you can complete this table now one of the male baby is chosen at random find the probability that he has medium mass so we are looking for male and medium mass male is here medium mass is here so this one 46 so this is 46 <coughs> out of 200 so we can write down 46 over 200 so that's it for this video i hope you guys understood everything if there is anything let me know in the comment section uh, so if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and share it with your friends and let me know in the comment section what do you think about the video or any improvement needed so thank you so much guys see you in the next video god bless you